Let's start right off with the um, with the protection issue from the last game. Uh, what kind of stuff are you doing to kind of screw that up? Well, they did get the wrestle a few times last time. Yeah. Uh, well, we're, I mean, we're practicing, you know, to, to Im improve the things that we need to improve. Um, I mean, we, have to, we just have to block better. We got to get the ball out quicker. Um, we got to get open on time. You know, I mean, we have the conversation kind of all the time, you know, about how they all work together. And, um, you know, we have to be on point all the time, particularly this opponent that we're playing. And they bring they bring tons of pressure. They're going to, um, you know, they can... They can bring it every single down if they, you know, if they so choose. So we have to be prepared for it. Because sometimes uh, that pressure, because they're, they're not shy about it. Right. Sometimes you can work it against them, I suppose, if you catch them. Well, you try to hit them. I mean, they do such a great job, you know, because they, they change up their pressures from week to week. And, um, you know, they bring all different kinds of combinations of those pressures. So, I mean, we're, we're going to have to really be on it to, you know, to, um, to block them all. Come on, Doug, what do you need? We're going to do this together. Are you going to speak for me? <laughs> Anybody got a question for Doug? Curtis, you got a question for Doug? Doug, what allowed the uh, structured passing game to work so well last week? Well, well, we had an excellent play caller. You know, I think uh, I think we were, we were well prepared throughout the week. Our, our coaching staff put together a great plan. Um, and then they allowed us to go out there and execute it. You know, they put us in great positions to be to be successful. Uh, so I got to attribute a lot of that success um, in the passing game to our coaching staff. Good question. Thank you, sir. Way to go, Doug. Does Stanford have a degree in sucking up? <laughs> Same question, Darrell. Pete said that's kind of been focus getting the ball out. Have you seen Russell kind of growing in that area lately? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're getting we're getting better all the time. You know, we have we have so many different things that we do in the passing game. Um, there's so many different styles of passes. You know, whether it's um, you know where you spread them all out and uh, you know you, you empty them out, whether you um, you know just straight drop back, whether you do play action passes off of it. So there's also there's so many different kinds, and it, it kind of depends on how the how the the game's going, you know. And um, the the better we run the ball, the more that you can rely on, you know, the, the play actions and the and the movement type of plays, and the, you know those type of things. So um, you know it's all dictated a little bit on the game, but you know we're working every day tirelessly out here to try to get better and um, you know be better with our reads be quicker with our reads be better in our protection to give us that little extra measure of time and you know do, you know just to be able to get all that to come together has something allowed you guys to do that a little bit more in the last two weeks it's really well i mean you know we're we're practicing all the time i mean we're we're, we're working hard to try to make every every part of our game better and uh, I mean, our, our guys have, have really come together, done a nice job as of late. I think Russell's really been on it um, as of late and, and um, kind of understanding what we're asking him to do and understanding our issues that we might be having. And, and so um, we're, uh, we're also changing up some of the things that we're doing, you know, um, with types of with styles of passes and those types of things. You know, I think you've seen some, you know, some more balls down the field, and you see some quick ones, and you see some movement. You know, you, it's just, it kind of all goes together, and it really depends on the game. And you mentioned the running game, and if you can do that. I mean, that, that makes everything better for us, you know. I mean, we, uh, we I mean, we pride ourselves on um, being able to run the ball, and it just, everything sets up off of it for us. And uh, the better that we can do that, the better our pass game is going to be. Throwing more vertically, just something you saw in some of these teams you're playing, or just something you kind of wanted to get better at and emphasize it? Well, um, I mean, they're they're always there. You know, there there's always things that are that are built in, and and in most of the routes, you know, we have those kind of things, and um, it's at the quarterback's discretion, you know, to, to take them at times. Uh, it's dictated by coverage at times. You know, so um, you know, we, we had the opportunities and we were able to take them the last couple of games. 
how much is the, the quick passing and, and how you run that be predicated on who's at the offensive line for positions? Because I know you've got a injuries there and how much changes with those guys. Well, I mean, we, we have a philosophy and a style of what we're going to do, you know, and, and uh, we're going to stick to that. And, uh, you know, obviously, as, as we said earlier, I mean, running the ball is, is the biggest key for us because that takes pressure off of everybody. It takes off, you know, if, if you continue to run it and get first downs, then, you know, you never have to put them in that, those situations. And then the better that you can run it, then you can mix, mix and match some of the styles of passes that you do. If we have to drop back all day, then you know we're gonna, we're going to be in trouble, and that's not what we want to do. Um, and, and that's that's where you end up having issues when they can just tee off and say, okay, here's here's all they're doing. As a play caller, do you, how patient, how hard is it to be patient against a team like a Let's see so much. You know, there's a risk on the other side of that play, but yet you have to. Well, I think there's a risk both ways. I'm sorry, I mean, if I cut you off, there's. I think there's a risk both ways. You know, whether we're whether we're running the ball, because you know those runs can come out the other side. I mean, if that's if they have all their first level defenders that are coming, you you break out the other end, you can still get a nice uh, big play out of that. Um, also, in the past game, obviously, if you pick up some of those in protections and you pick them up and block them, then you have one-on-one -on -one opportunities most of the time down the field. So I think both of them can really be to your advantage. You know, if we're able to run the ball and we can do it consistently, you know, getting the threes and fours, and um, then it's not hard to be patient in those times. You know, when when you're sitting at second ten, second eleven all day, you know that. That's where it kind of gets tiresome and you know and tough to to stay patient. How remarkable is it for you to have a quarterback who takes every snap for 14 minutes? Uh, so remarkable, I probably don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> is this made of wood right here? What? <laughs> Do you get now a comfort factor that you can do things you might not be able to do with Tavares or somebody who was top practicing all the time? Yeah, I, I mean, I've I've been fortunate, so to speak, in my career. You know, I mean, I had to, I was able to coach a guy that, you know, played forever and ever, and you just expected him to be out there each and every game, regardless. Um, I think we have, you know, a similar guy with Russell. I mean, he's. You know, not that he hasn't taken hits, he's taken some hits, but the, the best thing about him we talk about all the time is, is the decisions that he makes. You know, most of the time he keeps himself out of harm's way. He's able uh, to be nimble enough in the pocket to escape some things. When he gets out and runs, he gets down or he gets out of bounds. So all those decisions, you know, really help him to be able to stay in there. And then, of course, you know, during, during the week, um, that helps our preparation, you know, to count on him that he's going to be in there. We can improve the things that we need to improve on and we can, you know, focus in on the things that, that he needs to work on. What did you think when you saw him trying to work through their linebackers to um, get to Eric Reed and all that? Uh, you know, it's, you kind of appreciate it, actually, you know, and, um, um, I, he, you know, he's not shy. I mean, he's a tough guy. He's not shy. And, uh, you know, but I think he, he does really make smart decisions. And, um, I, you know, I think in that moment, that was, a, that was a smart decision. I mean, we needed to get that guy down, and he might have been the last line. Getting to the time of year when jobs come open and all that, Pete was talking today about how he's always pushed his assistant coaches. And, you know, if, if they want to do that, he wants them to leave. Is that nice to have a... a work under a guy that's kind of encouraging that and not trying to hide his coaches and keep you here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I respect him for it, you know, and, and uh, we, we appreciate him. Um, you know, the key is in, in return. I mean, the thing that's most important for us is to do our job, do the job we have, do it as well as we can, as long as we can, you know, and um, if that day never came and I was able to stay here doing this job the whole time, I mean, it would be awesome because um, you know, this this is our focus and this is what we're trying to do. 
Um, but on the other hand, you know, we appreciate him doing that for us, but I think that's how we repay him by just, you know, doing this job as well as we can right now. Did you learn that once you got here, or you did the book on Carol before you got here? Did you have opportunities and kind of encourage you for others? Uh, I, I think the, the first time um, I was a little surprised, you know, just because of where, where I'd been and, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't kind of that way. And so coming here and then the first time, he, you know, he comes on in your office and starts speaking about you. Is he trying to get rid of me? What's going on here? It's kind of weird, you know, but he, um, you know, but it's, it's great to have someone that supports you in that way. You guys in the last Arizona game had a very good completion for 17 and 22, but also 7 sacks. Is that just kind of a function of the high risk list? blitz package that Arizona throws it to and can you do anything about it? Uh, yeah, we hope to do something about it. Uh, obviously, you know, there's going to be, uh, I mean, there's a great challenge because they, they do have a very um, aggressive package that they like to bring. Um, looking back at the seven plays, you know, I think there was, um, you know, there's going to be times where they're going to get you. There's going to be times where, um, you know, where Russ made a great decision to, to be, you know, to say, okay, I'm, not, I'm just not going to throw this one. But there was a, there was a few of those where uh, we could have got the ball out. We could have uh, protected it better and, and those things. So, you know, we try to balance those out. And, you know, I think we can get that number to come down. Sorry, but the ball just sometimes goes where it goes. Was that Jermaine being more involved last week to sort of that? Or was there something else that kind of went there that Jermaine kind of had the game he did? Um, uh, good question. I'm trying to think of his plays. That one, that one. I mean, I, I think it was just really a function of um, that's, you know, there, there might have been one or two, you know, when you throw the ball real quick. You know, like early in the game, we just throw it out to him. I mean, we know who that one's going to go to. Um, and then some of the other ones in the game, it's like, okay, this is a quarterback decision. Even the one uh, that he you know, made almost made a hell of a catch on the, on the left sideline. You know, the ball goes to him. You know, it was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. The quarterback took that shot. Uh, you know, so, you know, some of those, like I said, those are ones that are built in. And then the quarterback says, okay, I'm going to take that matchup this time. The last game with two consecutive passes on an off-back tackle before the season. Was that just because it was San Francisco and they knew you so well you had to break your tendencies? Um, I, you know, I'm always trying to look at that stuff and, um, you know, just um, don't don't want to become just totally predictable and, you know, trying to change it up, you know, when and where I can. Good. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys.